Hey, what's up guys, Tommy here, back again with another video. And today, something pretty darn great came in the mail. Uh, if you don't know, this is my battery for my electric motorcycle build, which is actually sitting right over there. Um, this is a 72 volt, 40 amp hour battery with a 150 amp BMS. This thing's gonna pump out some massive power. So I'm excited to get this thing open and show it to you guys without further ado. Let's get right into it. All right, so here we have it, our battery and our charger. Let's go ahead and open our charger first. Let's move on to what we all wanna see. Let's get right into that battery. All right, so now that we got it unboxed, let's explain everything that we have here. So we have a 72 volt, five amp charger, some battery connectors, the charging port, which connects right to the XT60 connector, which comes out of the battery, and our 72 volt, 40 amp hour battery itself. Now that I've shown you everything that was in the box, let me give you my first impression about this battery and its components, and whether if it's worth the price or not. All right, so starting off with the charger, it's really nothing fancy, although I do quite like it. Um, it has a nice solid metal case, um, and the wires coming out of it are very nice and thick. It also has a fan to make sure that it stays cool. Uh, I would give the charger a thumbs up. All right, so now on to the battery itself. I'm gonna give you some of the specs of this battery before we get into my initial impressions of it. So this is a 72 volt, 40 amp hour battery, and it has a 150 amp BMS. That means it will work with the Sabaton 72150 controller. Um, it weighs about 33 pounds. I'll put the exact weight on the screen right there. Now you can customize these batteries to be any size, shape, or capacity you would like. My specific battery measures out to be 190 millimeters tall by 310 millimeters long by 137 millimeters wide. All right, so now I'm gonna give you guys my first impressions on this battery. And I'm gonna tell you guys whether I think that you should get it for your electric bike build or not. All right, so now what can I say? Uh, it's a battery, you know, as long as you're not building it, it's not a very complicated thing on the outside. You know, it's just got a couple wires sticking out with some connectors on there, that's about it. Um, overall, I would say the build quality is very, very nice. Um, it's sort of got this shrink wrap around it, but it's very nice and hard. And then there's some waterproof sealant around the top and bottom of the battery um, with some opaque yellow film on the top and bottom as well, which I'm not really sure the function of, um, although it's there. I think that these wires should be a slightly thicker gauge. These are 10 gauge wires, and for most of these e-bike builds, they typically use at least eight gauge wire. Um, if you don't know, the lower the gauge wire, uh, the thicker it is, and the more current that can be transferred through it uh, safely. Um, and you know, with these thinner gauge wires, there could be a lot of voltage sag, and they just don't transfer current as efficiently as you know some nice thick wires. So. If you were to order a battery like this, I would definitely recommend to ask for thicker gauge wires. Um, it would probably help you in the long run. Now on to the question, would I recommend this battery for your e-bike build? Now, I do think that I would recommend this battery to you guys. And the reason for that is, you know, one of the hardest parts about this whole e-bike build journey um, was researching and finding the right parts 
And the hardest part for me to find was the battery. And I think the reason for this is the battery is going to be the most expensive single part of your whole build. So you wanna make sure that you get the right battery. Um, and this can be really hard. A lot of these Alibaba websites are very confusing. Um, and then there's the option to build a battery. Most people just don't have the technical skills, including me to do that or the time or the patience. Also, you know, if something happens that could be catastrophic, you could burn down their, they burn down your house. Um, and I'd say it's quite dangerous for somebody who's inexperienced. Now this battery is on Amazon for $1,599, but with taxes and shipping, it's $1,770. But I actually have a trick to where you can get this battery for much cheaper. Uh, if you contact the company through WhatsApp, um, customize your battery there and then pay through PayPal instead of Amazon, you can actually save a lot of money. I got the specific battery for $1,440 instead of almost $1,800. Um, and the reason for this is of course, Amazon has to impose their tax on any products so they can make their cut. And you know, that's gonna raise the price up. But yes, I would recommend this battery. I think it's a nice high quality battery. Um, and you can take it from me. I think that it would be a safe bet to get this battery. Um, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already, um, and leave a nice comment down below. Make sure you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.